hey guys and welcome back to my channel do not mind please don't even pay attention to the busted look that i have going on i got back from the hospital and when i'm in the hospital i don't like I look so different when it's between work versus the weekend. But anyway, got back from the hospital. It's kind of like a pretty chill day. Um, saw our inpatients and then had a consult in the ED. So um, that's pretty much what was going on. I just finished some notes. And now I'm trying to like also keep an eye on the ED tracker that we have because I want to go to the gym, even though I low-key should be doing my Peloton. But... I don't know if I want to do my Peloton. I've been like conflicted. I don't know if I told you guys this before, but usually I used to be on top of it with my Peloton, but then it doesn't really correlate with my Apple Watch and then I lose calories. So then I like literally don't feel motivated because I'm not hitting my calorie goal or it's not tracking the amount of calories I'm actually burning. So it's like this whole big thing, but I feel like I should just go on the bike. Like I love spin and after I do do spin, I feel so much better. Um, it is Tuesday. Yesterday was Labor Day, so luckily I wasn't on call, so technically I had the day off. So I am on my hospital like week, um, with inpatient week, and it's Tuesday. Sadly, I am on call today. Pretty much I'm on call for like, mm, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say 24 hours low-key. Like I'm on call, let's see, 24 plus like 8, ew, 30, ew. Okay, I'm on call for freaking 32 hours, Lord. Okay, but um, what's it called? But yeah, that's life. <laughs> that's life. Anyway, um, I'm literally trying to be motivated to go to the gym by 3. It is 2.43 right now, so I'm giving myself like 15 minutes and then telling myself, you either got to be on this bike at 3 or you got to be in the gym at 3. So I got to figure something out because then I have to get ready. We have a rep dinner tonight. Um, and also it's like a lecture as well. So yeah, also I got my lashes redone. Also do not mind, I don't know if it's gonna focus, don't mind my skin. My skin is horrible because I was eating like horribly this weekend. Like I had so much dairy and like pizza and all this, sh Ugh, it was bad. So my skin always acts up like this. So, um yeah so i need to like figure out like okay girl good you're ass in the gym so that I, i'm done by the time i go to, i can get ready for this rep dinner and then hopefully it's a quiet night tonight since i am on call i'm on call at two hospitals tonight so let's pray pray for your girl pray for your girl hopefully everybody got it's raining so i hope that's gonna keep people inside but yeah um I'm trying to think what else. Honestly, this weekend I was off, but like it was pretty chill. Um, I didn't really do much. I low-key like slept, which is what I needed. I slept so much, but a girl still has like bags in her eyes. So I don't know what that did. But yeah, no. I'll call today and then I'm going to call this weekend. But the good thing though is that like once I'm done with my call this weekend which is like, like basically i'll be on call from like friday at 5 p.m until monday at 7 a.m then i am not on call on the weekend until november and it's september right now so that's great so i am looking forward to that like i like your girls just i'm excited for that we have a few things coming up, my boyfriend and I. So this weekend, also another thing was like planning our um, LA trip because uh, my nephew, uh, baby Olive, is gonna be one. So we had to plan that. We finally like booked our Airbnb. I usually book like instant book because I hate waiting when you have to request. But the first Airbnb like never responded. So after 24 hours, Airbnb kind of like cancels the request. The second one responded immediately, and honestly. I love that. I, I cannot wait to show you guys that Airbnb. Like, after I put it on, you guys need to, like, book this place. This place is so cute. Like, perfectly located and everything. But I'll show you guys when that happens. It's taking place next month. But this month, we have Rolling Loud. And there was Labor Day sales, but I was so tired. Which is dumb. I should have low-key bought everything I needed to buy during the sales so i need to honestly check online to see if they have any like last minute sales trickling down but I, we have rolling out <laughs> and 
I need to find outfits for that. Also, we have our in-training exams, which is like practice board exams, which is literally like the same week that Rolling Loud is going to be on. <laughs> so I'm going to start like fully like hitting the ground running and like studying for that and all that jazz and getting that all squared away. So that is my life right now i low-key am trying to get reorganized my apartment like i don't know how this happens i literally clean and then i look for outfits so i pack for the weekend and i do things and then i need to clean again so i'm trying to like since i'm on my hospital week it's kind of it gets like draining i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time hopefully i will but basically today is about like reorganizing my life so that I can get things done and be productive. That is what today is about. So I will catch up with you guys later. Um, hopefully I can chug this coffee. I already had an espresso this morning, but I clearly need another one so I can get my butt into a workout and be good. So I will catch up with you guys later. See ya. So while I'm over here saying that I was gonna go to the gym at three, can we talk about how I was like, you know what, let me just go on Fashion Nova's website and see if there's like magically the sale going on. Y'all, why does it say this? the sale ends in two hours? So now I'm stressed. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear to this, like to Rolling Loud within two hours and order it because I don't have outfits set for this week, that weekend. I literally need something for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's all, so hopefully this goes well if you guys are watching this the sale is probably done but i don't know sometimes they be playing games and they still keep it up but um yeah like i'm like low-key stressed right now who gets stressed shopping like what like why am i stressed shopping anyway shopping i online shop i thrive when i online shop that's what we're doing i kind of have like a vision in my mind but then i have to remember like this is not like coachella outfits this is like a hip-hop festival so I'm not going to wear the same things I would wear to Coachella in a sense. So, I don't know. Maybe some cute graphic tees. And, like, I'm going to have to get a good pair of new sneakers. But a good, like, all, if I could get all black sneakers, that'd be nice. All black. Yeah, I'm not wearing white. All black sneakers. So, I have, like, I want to get, like, fringe style shorts. Denim shorts that I've seen. Probably just get them in different colors. And then, like, get, like graphic tees. Or something cute. Like a cute top. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all, I'll have to do a vlog. Hopefully, I don't know. It's hard to be creative with like, cause we're going to roll them out and like, it's not like a festival where like people like dress up like EDC or Coachella. So I don't know, I gotta figure something out. So, let me use do the sale because there's a countdown on the website, y'all. Hold on one second, let me show you. There is a whole countdown. Do you guys see this? There's a legit countdown right here and I'm stressed the hell out because clearly I only have two hours. So I don't know, it says till 2 p.m. I don't know if it's running on Central Time or Eastern Standard Time, but I need to figure this out right now. To add to my stress, Pretty Little Thing is having a sale. Their sale was also extended too. So like, what in the hell? Y'all, I'm stressed. I need to, you know what? I'm telling myself you are only ordering things for Rolling Loud before I start getting carried away and like buying other things. Only Rolling Loud, you only need three outfits, figure it the hell out. That's what you taught myself in my head. All right. Okay, so it's 3.15 or 3.18 now and I just frantically bought like a bunch of stuff from Fashion Nova. I didn't even have a chance to look at Pretty Little Thing. I found some, like definitely the shorts I kind of had an idea I was gonna get for Rolling Loud and some tops, but then I just went back and realized that one of the tops is the only thing that matches. But it's okay because the other two shorts are kind of like graphic-y in a sense, so they have some design, so I'm just gonna go plain with those shirts, with those shorts. I wanna find sneakers now that I wanna wear. That's gonna be the next thing, trying to plan to get sneakers that's gonna be yeah or shoes to wear i'll just go i'll have my boyfriend go with me he he usually gets we both usually try to get new pairs sorry i thought a lash fell we usually try to get new pairs for our festival so i'm super excited for it but here i am at 319 and i haven't worked out yet and i literally said that i need to get ready for this rep dinner so and i still haven't decided whether or not i'm planning on doing the peloton or i'm planning on going downstairs and using the elliptical I don't know y'all I might just do the elliptical I should do the elliptical right I usually do the elliptical when I haven't worked out in a few days I don't know y'all and I like the fact that like when I burn calories I actually burn them so it's nice 
Um, I might do the elliptical. Screw it. I'm gonna just have to rush, girl. I'm gonna have to rush. Yeah. I might just do 45 minutes maybe on the elliptical instead of an hour. Maybe I'll do that. 45 minutes on the elliptical. I think that's the plan. In that case, I gotta go. So I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, hey, you guys. With my indecisive ass, I ended up doing the Peloton. I'm sweaty AF. But I need to, like, dry off because... Um, what's it called? Because I just got my lashes done and, like, for 24 hours, you're not supposed to really, like, get them wet or, like, sweat. Like, in order for the glue... Oh, hell no. Okay. In order for the glue to set. And so I was, like, really focusing on, like, not getting to the point where, like, I'm obviously sweaty. But not getting to the point where it's, like, dripping down my face. Because then I would have been worried about my lashes. I'm low-key trying to have it, like, dry right now. Remember how I said I need to leave? By, like, 5. It's 4.26. I still have to get in the shower. Do something with this hair. I have an idea of kind of, like, what I'm going to wear. Sorry, guys. It's dark. Like, the light in my closet, like, went out. And I'm too lazy to fix it. So, I need to figure out what the freak to wear. I feel like I'm literally always wearing the same tops and stuff like that. Because, like, what is appropriate <laughs> um, for work? I don't know. Maybe I might wear that in a blazer. Like a top in a blazer. I might do that. I haven't worn this in a while. I might do this. Okay. And a pair of jeans. Sorry, guys. I will fix that. Get that light fixed sooner or later when I contact maintenance. And a pair of jeans and... Yeah. And like a black. <laughs> Ironic. Um, okay. Where's my black long sleeve shirt? It's about to be hot. It is about to be hot in her. Okay. Hopefully it's like cold and the AC's blowing because I'm wearing my black top right now that I worked out in and I like a plain top. So I'm just gonna wear a long sleeve. I have a blazer and then a pair of jeans. My closet is a hot ass mess. I said I was gonna have it organized. I didn't. So that's another thing I need to work on. I swear this weekend I slept. I didn't do half of the stuff I said I was gonna do. So I will catch up with you guys later. I literally need to rush. It's like 428 but I told myself wait until 430 let the eyelashes dry hop in the shower and get everything all set and ready to go it's raining outside so it like makes things so difficult because it's like what do you wear because it's raining but it's hot and I'm, ugh, I I want to wear boots something that's not gonna like keep my feet wet I don't know I don't know girl so that's what's happening right now <laughs> um, I will catch up with you guys later when I'm on my way I'll talk to you guys later Every time I try to rush and it doesn't work, something always happens and then I'm like, you know what, I'm happy I didn't rush. So basically the restaurant that we were going to, change of plans, we're not going in anymore. We're going to a different restaurant, which is fine. This is the outfit, pretty simple. Sorry for the mess of my apartment. I literally, I'm trying to like redo the whole thing and it's in shambles right now. So I've had this blazer, I don't even know when I got this. I feel like I got this in college. But I was gonna just wear like a black top, long sleeve. But then I was like, ah, it's not really doing much because I'm like super plain. So I was like, let me just add this blazer to kind of like zhuzh it up. So thankfully I didn't leave yet, even though Loki was supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago. But I didn't leave yet. Well, oh well. So basically I'm just like grabbing what I need right now. And then honestly, Thank God for makeup. My skin looks like it wasn't looking how it was looking before. I kind of was trying to lay my like edges down. Be whenever I rush, let me, whenever I rush, I swear to God, my wig does not want to work with me. So I couldn't lay it really down. So I just put this like headband on and just kind of like to let it be how it needs to be. And then I was going to wear earrings, but you can't see my ears anyway. So I just need to put on my boots and then head out. So you guys would be coming with me you guys so i am i thought i was recording I wasn't recording but this is how you know i'm in a rush so basically i put a little like lipstick lip gloss thing it's by nyx it's their butter gloss in the color ginger snap i don't know let's see if it focuses sorry for the glare i don't know if i got this from either walgreens or target but regardless it's time for your girl to go. I'm like putting everything together. I need to change up my um. I always have hand sanitizer on me. I'm like a hand sanitizer freak. Um, I don't want to wear this perfume, low key. 
I mean, I could wear this perfume. I've been mixing, it's the Chloe perfume. I have like a sample. Before I dedicate myself to different perfumes, I always like get the sample to make sure that I like it. But it's like very mature. I don't know if I said this in a different vlog. It's like a very mature scent. So I layer it with something a little bit more like young and fresh. So right now, it's like a clean, fresh scent, but I have to layer it because it's too, it's too like mature. So I just layer it with like a, a spray from a thousand, let's see if it's gonna focus, a thousand wishes. And this is from my Bath and Body Works haul. So I'm just gonna layer it and give it like a young and fresh. So now it like makes it less mature. I need to get another hand sanitizer and then I will see you guys after. So everyone is fully aware ah, of the change of address and it is time. Sorry guys that I'm shaking a lot for me to leave. But unfortunately, even though I was trying to avoid a toll, guess who has to go through a toll? I do in order to cut down the time because I'm of course late. So I, I really, I've been trying to say, I say I try, I'm trying, I should say, to get places 15 minutes early, but I don't know what happens. The Lord is just like, no girl. So here we are. So I am going to catch up with you guys later. I'm gonna try to rush, but with safety to get there. It is hot AF, I need to put this AC on, but I will catch up with you guys after. See ya. You guys pray for me that I get there on time because yeah, it's looking like 5.48 p.m. instead of 5.30. So I'm literally waiting for a train to pass and then get there. I really was trying to avoid doing a toll, but here we are, man. But, oh, Lord. All right, I'm gonna have to catch up with you guys later because as I'm recording this on my phone, my GPS, the like little icon thing doesn't move. So, need to make sure I get there on time and I get there at the correct place because this is how I got lost before. But I will catch up with you guys later saying that but i'm also over here trying to get off this thing but all right i'll see you guys later you guys so it is like pouring and it's like super foggy actually it's not boring let me stop being dramatic it's not boring but it's super foggy and i just don't understand like is this just like a massachusetts thing like why do people go but like, granted yes i understand that the weather is not feasible it's not the best it's not feasible it's not the best for driving right now but i just want to know is it just massachusetts that follows this rule where it's like if you're going if you cannot keep up with the cars in front and literally behind you then move over to the right like i just i'm literally trying not to get annoyed but like i just i, I don't get it i really don't get it i feel like i literally have moved to so many different places and like people who go like 65 miles per hour or like less let me say they're like going 40 i should not be going 40 to thir like 35 to 40 miles per hour on the highway and they're going that slow and they're on the left lane like do all of that in the right lane that's what it's for oh lord uh, -uh not what you slamming on your brakes my friend but okay everybody just came to a complete standstill on the turnpike i have absolutely no idea why Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, man. I can't. I'm literally like 12 minutes away. Well, 13. It's increasing due to traffic. Lauren. But you know what? I try to tell myself, stop getting upset when you either, like, things happen with the car, like, in terms of, like, you leave late or there's a detour or all that kind of jazz because you never know what the lord is like literally keeping you from why are you like slamming on your brakes as i'm trying to be like a good christian girl <laughs> but anyway i'm literally right by the exit lord like come on but yeah honestly i should like probably like chill out because lately i don't know for the past like few weeks i've been seeing a lot of like um like car accidents and stuff like that and like literally have missed all of them because like Loki I'm running late so I thank God for protecting me and um making sure I'm safe even when I think things are happening as an inconvenience you never know why they're happening but um yeah 
The girl is like 13 minutes away. I'm just, I'm ready. I am ready to eat. That's the good thing about these things. It's like you get to learn and it's free food. And everybody's like low key texting in the group chat that we have, like saying, because we have like a big group chat with like a we have 50,000 group, group chats in my residency program, but there's, okay, now what you literally going on the shoulder to drive? Clearly, we're all taking this exit. Anyway, well, like I was saying, oh, now everybody's going on the shoulder to drive. Like, we're all in this lane to go on the exit. I'm confused. All right, whatever. Let me not. Let me just be a good citizen and drive normally because I don't want to deal with half of these this road anyway so basically we have a group chat and every ah uh -uh, do not even swerve into my lane see this is, i try to mind my own business but people do it to me like i i don't do it to them they do it to me like i, I don't understand but anyway like i was saying before i was been rudely interrupted by people trying to come into the lane um we all have a group chat and everybody's like going off like not going off but everyone's like kind of saying like traffic is so bad and it's because all these little kitties went to school school started today for a lot of people and i bet now people are also going back to work i don't know maybe people are returning back to work from all that jazz all of that um situations oh let me get my easy gas out before these people But yeah, school started for a lot of people, so that's like a whole situation. Okay, what's, that's interesting, I have to go over here? Okay. But yeah, so it's because school started for a lot of people, it's like a whole thing. So, alright, I am behind this truck, let me go to the left. But yeah, um, I'm going to continue to drive, make sure I get there safely. I'm going a different way, it's in like one of the towns that I'm like familiar with but okay this is for me to keep right let me get the I am so confused let me get the hell up off the phone all right I hope I'm going the right way Lord please don't bring me someplace I'm not supposed to be at I think I'm going the right way but I need to get off the phone because this is how the other situation happened before so I will talk to you guys later That was graceful. How is it? <laughs> okay, guys, they have a mariachi band here. <laughs> yep. Great content. <laughs> Churros over there. 
Hey guys, I just got back. Um, I am legit full. We uh, went to, I don't even, uh, we, I don't even know the name of this place. Let me actually check you guys low key so I can give it to you guys. Um, if you want to check out that place, sorry guys, I don't know what's going on lately. Like the camera takes forever to focus. But in case you guys do want to go to this place, let me check because i am i'm sorry if i'm talking slow i am in a legit food coma like it's not cute at all so let me see what the name of this place was called so this place was called el aguila dorada and it's in bayonne um which is in north jersey so we ended up going there instead that was the new place that was um set up for us to go which was really cute it was like a really cute like mexican restaurant they even had a mariachi band and everything so that was pretty cool and one of my co-residents she's in my year so we're really all close but um it's her birthday coming up so <laughs> we convinced them to sing happy birthday for her so that's what happened they sang happy birthday we literally ate like i am blow tit like I'm gonna have to start diet next week. I, I just, I can't control myself when it's free. Like how? So, ended up getting birria tacos and then um, had a pa uh, uh, passion fruit margarita thing that they had. And then, and because you know, I was like, I'm not gonna like drink like that. It was sweet. It wasn't. It really wasn't like strong or anything. Um, and then. Um, what else did we have? Then I had a um, flan. They had tres leches, but like their tres leches isn't like like it wasn't like regular tres leches. It was like tres leches with different flavors. So they had like a chocolate flavor, and then they had a um, Oreo flavor. And like I don't know, I'm very picky when it comes to tres leches. And like I've said so many times in so many different videos, and honestly, the number one place right now that has my heart with tres leches is in Puerto Rico when we went to El Yunque Rainforest, which I'll you guys know I don't know where this video clip goes, but wherever the tag goes, if you guys are going to Puerto Rico, I swear to you, like I can't stop thinking about their tres leches. That thing was good. So it, it was good and they had a chocolate one they had an oreo one but i got flung because i'm just like a caramelly type of person so i got flung instead someone else got lava cake there's churros and stuff like that so yeah y'all i'm tired luckily i did not get paged but i'm about to take this little five dollar makeup off <laughs> i need to change the battery for this pager because this thing keeps going off saying low battery and nobody has time for that so I need to literally change the battery on, on the pager to make sure that like I don't miss anything. I'll probably do a face mask. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of chill for the rest of the evening. I thought I was gonna get some work done, but girl, like extra side work. I just need to cancel myself out when I'm on call. Like, girl, what extra side work are you doing? Like, maybe I might log some of the cases. So basically, when you're in residency, you have to like submit a certain amount of like numbers that you do in terms of cases, procedures, different types of stuff. So I just want to like log and like kind of keep up with things I've done. And yeah, so. But I was thinking about getting my nails done tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm low-key gonna have enough time. Because I said I was gonna meet up with one of my friends tomorrow, and she's one of she was one of our previous chief residents, and we still keep in touch. And I'm excited to see her. So I was like, okay. I'm just, and then I made plans to meet up with another one of my friends on Wednesday. So Thursday is looking like the only day that your girl can get her nails done. So, because they are grown out, y'all. Like, look at this. If it ever wants to focus on my nails, look at this, because it keeps. What is going on with the autofocus? This thing is not autoing. I'm sorry, y'all, if you guys can't see this. Whatever, I don't know why you guys can't see my nails. They are all grown, they are grown out. Okay, there you go. So my nails are completely grown out, so I need to get them done, y'all. I really need to get them done. So I will catch up with you guys at some point, possibly tomorrow. This is gonna be like a week in my life. 
so tomorrow basically what I have scheduled basically tonight what I want to do is like organize like how I said earlier like get my life together and figure out what I want to do for the rest of the week and the plans so tomorrow I gotta like see the impatience I don't have any cases tomorrow so it's gonna be kind of like a more of a light day so kind of the same thing see the impatience if there's any consults I see the consults and then I luckily am not on call tomorrow night so I'm done at five so after that pretty much I'm off for the night so that'll be good but I will catch up I am so tired I'm like a grandma like I just I don't understand why I've been yawning all day I yawned I yawned earlier in this clip I don't understand y'all I like slept all weekend <laughs> like I was boring Labor Day weekend like did not do nothing exciting I was boring so I don't know why I was like yeah, I'm yawning so much but I don't know, your girl tired. I probably am gonna watch some YouTube videos. I had a video that I was editing. I just need to finish doing like the description and all that stuff and like upload that up. But I will catch up with you guys later. I hope you have a great night and check in with you tomorrow. Bye.